Did you really think that I'd travel all the way to China without having Surfshark installed on my phone? I would have done it even if they weren't sponsoring this video, which they are, by the way, and I'm super glad to be partnering up with them once again. Hey everyone, it's Scott from Sandspotter.com again, and as much as I loved being in the city of Guangzhou, I'm happy as all heck to be getting out of China today. It's January 25th, the coronavirus is spreading like crazy, and I'm out of here. My escape this morning will be via a Singapore Airlines 78710 in business class, which quite frankly, is a pretty sweet way to flee a deadly virus. On a slightly more somber note, today is the first day of the Lunar New Year holiday here in China, and unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of celebrating going on. See, I do listen to you guys. Singapore Airlines Business Class was one of my most requested videos last year, coming in a very close second to the WestJet 787, which I'm definitely going to do, by the way. All Singapore Airlines premium passengers get full access to the appropriately named Premium Lounge here in Guangzhou. Well, technically, it's a Plaza Premium Lounge, and one that all Priority Pass members have access to as well. Technicalities aside, my god, it's a good thing that I arrived hungry. Okay, hold on a second. This is a business trip after all, and I do need to get some work done. However, there were potentially two problems with that this morning. First, Wi-Fi security, and second, censorship of Western internet content by the Chinese government. Now, I say potentially because, thanks to Surfshark, these are non-issues. If you don't know already, Surfshark is an award-winning VPN which encrypts all the data to and from your devices through a secure tunnel, preventing anyone from having access to your private data. How do I really know that someone here in the lounge isn't trying to hack the Sandspider Empire? I don't, and that's why I use Surfshark. Sketchy Wi-Fi aside, this is China, and I'd be completely lost without things like YouTube, Netflix, and Instagram. You can't access any of that here without a VPN, but Surfshark makes it extremely easy to bypass these restrictions. Simply download the app, launch it, and then press Quick Connect. That's all it takes to virtually change your location and bypass Chinese censorship laws. Note that you can also choose a wide variety of servers from all over the world, which I took advantage of while here in China. By virtually changing my location back to the US, I was able to access YouTube just exactly the way I do back home. Anyway, Surfshark and I have teamed up to offer the Sandspotter audience an incredibly good deal. Simply sign up using the link in the description below, using the promo code SCOTT, and you're going to get 83% off your entire subscription. Not only that, you're going to get one full month extra for free. Yeah, I know. Boarding doesn't begin for another 45 minutes, and I'm doing this all wrong. Shouldn't I still be up in the lounge relaxing like a normal human being? Actually, it Turns out that someone sneezed within close vicinity of me up there, and I freaked out, and now I'm down here. Boarding for this four and a half hour flight down to Singapore started about 10 minutes early, which totally caught me off guard because nearly half the plane was already on board by the time I arrived back at the gate. I guess I'm not the only one feeling just a little bit anxious to get out of the country today. I could definitely sense a twinge of paranoia in the air as we boarded this plane. For example, how exactly do I know that the guy in front of me hasn't been exposed to the coronavirus? And <laughs> you know what? 
I'm nearly 100% confident that the person on my heels was looking at me with a raised eyebrow thinking the exact same thing. Here you have it. Singapore Airlines 78710 Business Class. Not bad at all, though little did I know that this pales in comparison to what is on their A350s. More on that in the next video. It's kind of funny when I edit all this video footage sometimes because I naturally expect to hear a very clear and satisfying ah, whenever I sit down like this. Imagine the shock and horror I felt when right away I realized that there was something about these business class seats that I didn't like. These footwells are tiny. Want to know what makes up for tiny footwells? Good food, of course, and Singapore Airlines comes in clutch every time with culinary options designed to distract you from sore feet. Okay, <laughs> that was stupid, but this menu does look really good. Pre-departure drinks were offered just as I was sitting here, contemplating my thoughts on this Singapore Airlines business class product so far, and they were pleasant thoughts indeed. So far. <coughs> Give me a second. <coughs> Sorry. So, what do you suppose my chances are of being allowed back in the US after this? But seriously, even though I'm making jokes about the coronavirus, you need to know that this entire situation breaks my heart and I'm just using humor as a coping mechanism. Sometimes humor is the best medicine and it's something we all have inside of us if we choose to tap into it. You know that awkward time between pushing off the gate and takeoff? I like to fill it with shout outs to my amazing patrons. Michael Siv is the man in the spotlight today, not only for his excellent taste in footwear, but also for his generosity of becoming a Sandspotter first class patron as well. Thanks, man. Is it possible that I've been doing airline reviews since 2013 and that this is the very first time that I've flown Singapore Airlines? I'm actually so late to the game that I'm not even sure that the world needs another Singapore Airlines review. Of course, needs and wants are two completely separate things and I'm filled with a whole lot of want this morning. Since I don't really need to be here, what is it that I want to show you? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out, so please give me a moment to gather my thoughts and process what it's like to be spoiled rotten in Singapore Airlines business class. Here we go. Do you ever get so excited that you shake uncontrollably and you nearly pee your pants? Actually, we're going through a bit of chop here, just as the appetizer was served, and it was a little tough to hold the camera steady enough to convey the notion that I can indeed control my nerves when excited. Hmm, I'm starting to get the sense that chicken and water is my default airplane food. Yeah, there were other choices, but somehow I naturally gravitated toward this grilled chicken breast and mustard sauce. It was really good, by the way. For dessert, they served up a fresh slice of pumpkin mousse cake, which, to my unsophisticated palate, tasted like a really good piece of chocolate cake. Aren't you glad that I don't do food reviews for a living? So there you have it. My first ever dining experience in Singapore Airlines business class, and it was pure satisfaction. Now, if I can just cure myself of that crippling addiction to chicken and water.
Well, my plan was to kick off the final section of the video with me flushing the toilet Obi-Wan Kenobi style. A simple wave of my hand and... Come on, man. Flush, damn it. If it wasn't completely obvious by now, these business class seats on the 78710 are very comfortable and absolutely perfect for a four and a half hour flight such as this. Sometimes I wonder if I chose the wrong path in life. I mean, I essentially feel myself folding blankets on airplanes for a living while my buddy and fellow patron Pilot Wright is going through flight school and is well on his way to doing something meaningful for society. Is the approach into Changi Airport in Singapore not one of the best and most scenic in all the world? Really? No matter the weather or time of day, my nose is always glued to the window the entire time. Welcome to Singapore. And let me tell you, I'm feeling a huge sense of relief for putting some distance between me and the coronavirus. Oh, and yeah, Singapore Airlines 78710 business class is quite good. Though nowhere near as good as the A350 business class product. That mind-melting experience is the subject of next week's video. Also, I just want to say that the support I'm getting from my patrons has been phenomenal and very much appreciated. I really couldn't do what I do without them, and to Joshua Bedell and everyone else, you guys and gals rock. Maybe one day if my channel gets big enough, we can charter a Singapore Airlines 787 just like this and go places together. With pilot right at the controls, of course. Thanks so much for watching, and do prepare yourselves for next week's video, which is likely to contain a lot of idiomatic expressions. You know, things such as holy crap, holy mother of god, and maybe even a holy sh** too. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.